Hello, good traveler. As for me, I still haven't got anyone new out here to fly with me. Shame, because I know anyone would love it if they saw it. Just take a look at that! You've gone and painted my invention. Say, maybe this is just what people need to see to get them out here and interested in taking a flight. I've got it. How about you paint me and the balloon up in the air so people can get a real idea of how the flight will be? Great. I'll get ready for liftoff. I knew it would look amazing in flight. You're pretty quick with that painting business. Here, let me add some information on there. This will work. All right, that'll get people interested. Now, it's up to you to make sure the kind folks of East Shade see that flyer. Put it up somewhere with lots of traffic. Oh, I'm sure you'll find the perfect spot, Traveler. You pick up a paper? Looks like you already. Would you like to donate a glowstone? To Thank you for your contribution.
Partner, the Traveler! We've done it! That flyer really did the trick! I've just had a whole group of adventurous folks looking to take flight! Say, you've really saved my invention. How'd you like to take a ride up to the mountaintop? That's the spirit! Hop in, pal! Even more spectacular than I always dreamed. Feel free to walk around and take in the sights. I'll take you back down when you're finished.
Are you ready to head back? Thanks again for all your help. There's nothing so exciting as bringing people on a great adventure. Just let me know if you need another lift to the mountaintop, pal. Well, what do you say? Up for a trip to the mountaintop? Well, what do you say? Up for a trip to the mountaintop? Golly, here we are! Even more spectacular than I always dreamed. Feel free to walk around and take in the sights. I'll take you back down when you're finished.
Are you ready to head back? Thanks again for all your help. There's nothing so exciting as bringing people on a great adventure! Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. So, Zara has you running around the island like some sort of a unpaid assistant. I know how remote some of those hot springs are. It was no small task. And to think... You won't see a single glowstone for all your trouble. What a pity for you. 
<laughs> but the biggest waste here is how utterly pointless your task was. It's just astounding how much energy you cynics waste all to crush the happiness of believers. Or maybe it's to prove to yourself that you haven't been missing out on something wonderful. Which you have. But I'm no psychologist. I'm just a merchant. Don't mind me. I just bring life and joy to a city full of happy customers. Listen here. I will give you 200 glowstones if you give me those hot spring samples and never say another word to Zara. Absolutely not. I'm trying to save myself the public relations nightmare Zara is trying to cause with all her nonsense. You're an absolute fool. I know my elixir extends life, as surely as I know the moon will hide the sun tomorrow. But I also know Zara's science won't find anything special in the spring water that will explain it. Maybe. Or maybe those university snobs don't know everything. Maybe there's something more to that water. Something they can't see with their microscopes. Something they don't understand. But just because they can't see it with their fancy tests, that doesn't mean it's not magical. You have to trust me on that. So, are you going to take the glowstones or not? You and Zara are going to rob so many people of Eastshade's greatest gift. How's the hot spring sample collecting going? You do? Fantastic! That can't have been easy. I understand that some of those hot springs are quite remote. Oh, I can't thank you enough. I'm going to get right to analyzing it. It shouldn't take long. Come back in an hour if you want to see the results. This could really put that con artist out of business. Medva? is an old Bearfolk family name. A few Bearfolk around here have ancestors named Medva. Our own ranger, Victor, down at the National Park is one that comes to mind. His ancestors were voyagers long ago. From what I've heard around town, Lady Samira also has family in the Medva line. Now leave me be.
taking you visitors. There's been an incident. But with the storm... Well, I'll give you the room we were planning to give the detective. We're just about full otherwise. There's been a theft in one of the rooms. The police are on their way now, though it might take a while. Don't worry though, the thief wouldn't dare strike again. Some sort of important book. Real valuable, I guess, by the way Mr. Historian is reacting. I don't claim to understand what it does. I just know we can't have any thieves making an escape. We've got all kind of weirdos here. And it could be just about any one of them. They're all exhausting me. Most of the guests are napping right now, though, so it's nice and quiet for the moment. Look, since we've got this shady business going on here, I'm not going to charge you. You can have a room upstairs, first door on your right. At any rate, it looks like you don't have much choice but to stay. The storm is raging out there. My great-great-grandparents built it as a waypoint for expeditions north, and for folks building windmills on the Teethmore Bluffs. It's well past its glory days, and I can't imagine this situation is going to do much to boost its reputation. Not exactly. Well, there was this university student. Strange thing. She arrived around noon, coming from Narva. A few hours later, the historian arrived, followed by Helena and that businessman, Vadim. The student went off to her room. I figured she wanted an early start in the morning. But then she came out a little after sunset, bags all packed, telling me she had to leave and take care of an emergency. I felt bad for her having to leave in the night like that. So you finally made it, Detective. I was hoping you'd be delayed, so we could have more excitement. Yes, my husband and I used to go on dates at the ruins. The night sky and the fresh air, all surrounded by the history of the island. It's a very romantic spot, you know. You skipped to the last page? Don't spoil the ending for me. The businessman Vadim gave me that book last night. I haven't finished it yet, and I don't know anything about those numbers. They better not be important to the story. Yes. No, I'm trapped in this bed. There's nothing at all to see here. But I did hear a young girl pacing outside my door before the theft. She seemed very flustered. I called her inside and we talked a bit about books. 
she was a student at the university. Suddenly... Are you the authorities? Do you paint the crime scene to help find clues? Okay, well my boyfriend and I really need to get off this lake. We're supposed to be playing a show in Narva tonight, but the innkeeper won't let anyone leave. It's so frustrating. We've never played anywhere important, and the one chance we get... This has to happen! A book was stolen. It must contain the meaning of life, because I can't see any other reason it would be such a big deal. We got here yesterday afternoon. We ate dinner, played some music, and went to bed. I heard some scuffling in the middle of the night, but... I just thought it was rats. Ugh, they're everywhere. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? Hi, I'm Amir. You are going to crack this case, right? My girlfriend and I were supposed to play a show tonight. Oh, this is horrible. Yeah, I am. I just told you that. We were really hoping. I don't know if this will help, but there was someone down on the beach late last night. I couldn't sleep, so I was looking out of my window at the lake, searching for inspiration. But yeah, someone was down there. Just past the innkeeper's counter. You can go in. The door's unlocked. We figured, since we don't have any interesting books, we're probably safe from the thief. I couldn't tell. They seemed like they might be... tall, maybe? But certainly mysterious. Just past... The that businessman, Vadim, he's pretty strange, obsessed with money, he's given me several nasty looks. And the woman over in the corner, Belinda, she keeps giggling at everyone. They're a point of controversy around here. Some people want them open to the public, and some people think they're a sacred space. I understand that the ancient people wouldn't have wanted us to disturb their tomb, but it would have been pretty neat to play a show in there. Who are you? You don't look like the authorities. Another suspect. When did you get here? Oh, sure. Well, watch yourself. There's a thief on the loose, and no one's even trying to catch them. I have my guesses, but it's too soon to say for sure. In my translation book, it contains rooms that would allow me to enter and learn more about the Tiefmoor ruins. It's highly sensitive and confidential information. I was on my way to the ruins when the thief made their move. Very few people know about the translation book. Someone must have been following me. And the authorities. Delayed by a boating mishap. At this rate, the thief is going to slip away in the night.
Hello, detective. My name's Belinda, and I'm an open book, I tell you. Any questions you have, I'm completely ready to answer. I don't have a single thing to hide. Hmm. The only suspicious thing I've seen is that historian. He's been running into our rooms, snatching up our things and dragging them around for others to inspect. It makes you wonder if he isn't trying to cover something up. Well, who knows, really? We can't get in there to find out. But it's nice to dream. My sister loved hiking and traveling more than anything. Now she can only travel in her books. I have. It seems that Miss Helena is unwell. I've seen her looking very sick and tired as she moves about the inn. You'll see. Something's wrong with her. Hmm. My sister and I are taking a relaxing vacation. She hardly gets out of the house anymore, and I thought the fresh air out here would do her some good. Knees, thighs, toes, a continual upset stomach. <laughs> Old age, you might say. What a mess. Great strides, Detective. I know you'll have this sorted out in no time. I've got no doubt. As soon as the criminal still hasn't been found, I've taken the liberty of locking everyone's boat ashore. Shouldn't be travelling in the storm anyway. Why don't you take these keys to continue your investigation of the suspects in their rooms? Just about every.
look. But maybe if you take a look, you'll find something that points. The ruins are an incredibly rich source of culture and heritage for the people of Eastshade. I believe. But somehow, there are people who think history is a waste of time, and they've thwarted my efforts of discovery at every turn. Did you figure it? Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? Good, you finally arrived to sort this out. Check through my suitcase and I'll be on my way, detective. Good gods, this is truly obscene! The historian likely dropped the book in the lake himself. You've seen how his hands shake. And now he's trying to frame one of us! That historian! He's a madman! He tore through our rooms this morning, screaming about his wretched book. Numbers? I'm afraid I don't know anything about that. I picked up that book in a small market last week. It wasn't my cup of tea, so I gave it to Rad Miller. A wasted opportunity at the moment. Who doesn't love the idea of visiting a tomb thousands of years old? Who wouldn't love the sense of discovery and heritage? Who wouldn't pay dozens and dozens of glowstones for that kind of experience? I'm going to bring that dream to life, I promise you that. You don't look like any detective I've ever seen. I won't be answering your questions. Have you any pr I don't think you're- That's an old poem from the native people on the Teefmoor Bluffs. I keep it with me as a reminder to always be thankful. Yes, I have. Those musicians have been desperate to get out of here since the moment the book went missing. They've been singing all kinds of obnoxious songs about this situation. Annoying fiends. Those ruins mean everything to me. 
all I've ever wanted is to preserve that sacred ground. Have you any pro That is stored! What a man. Been thinking about it. This place is empty most of the time. Tourism on the teeth more bluffs isn't what it once was. And the milling industry is not all fancy and upcoming like before. Got that letter in the mail just a few days ago. Seems like my ticket out of here. This place gets a little too gloomy for me. Just hurry up and find the criminal, okay? Skipped to the left. The... Uh, hi. I'm not really sure what's going on. Oh my gods. What happened? Oh, right. There was an emergency, but don't worry, everything's okay now. Of course, those halls belong to my ancestors and my aunt lives on the property. I mean, for now, she's probably going to have to sell it. Oh, um, are you sure it's necessary? Okay, it's just on the ground. Aha, good news. The real detective has arrived.
are you the impromptu detective? Sorry it took me so long to get here. The innkeeper just filled me in on the situation. It seems like you've been doing good work here. Do you have a prime suspect? Can I help? Uh, okay. You caught me, alright? I know how to get into the ruins and I've been going in there for years. Is that what you want to know? So yes, it was me. Look, I can't tell you that. Translation book? I don't know what you're talking about. I... Oh, gosh. I... I thought you were looking for a trespasser. I didn't steal them. They belong to my ancestors. Um, everyone, except my aunt and my parents who think the ruins need to stay empty for our old spirits. But there aren't any spirits. I've been in there a hundred times. I just wanted to bring home one last reminder of the ruins. I was hoping to defend them like my aunt always has. Did you figure it out? Have you any pro- Numbers? I'm afraid I wasted up a- Who wouldn't pay dozen- That is- I don't f made any mistakes? What? You found this here? Why, I, I can't fully translate it, but I think this is describing a poem about cattle. Uh, or about gold. Uh, I need my translation book. Why are you searching through my things? I only opened my trunk so the suspects would feel more comfortable opening theirs. Surely I can't be a suspect in this crime. That medication is my private business. <clears throat> I would appreciate if you mind my privacy. I am the victim here, after all. It's true I'm being let go from my position at the university, but this is my life's work we're talking about. I can't just abandon this when I'm so close to finding all the answers. But really, Detective, this is a waste of time. You should be investigating the actual suspects. The ruins are an incredibly rich source of culture and heritage for the people of Eastshade. I... but somehow, there are people who think history is... Can I help? Oh, right. Uh, okay, you caught me, all right? I know how to get into the ruins and I've been going in there for years. Is that a translation book? I, I... Oh, gosh. I didn't steal them. It seems like you've been doing good work here. Really? That's very interesting. Let me have a look around and see if I can confirm your suspicions. Well, you might make a fine detective one day, but not today. 
Turns out it was actually Helena. Sad story this is. Looks like Helena was hoping to sell off the land to the tourist industry. Worth quite a lot of money. Says she was trying to take a final look inside the ruins. That's why she needed the book. Must have been having second thoughts about selling the land. Unfortunately for her, we've now got solid evidence that the ruins are filled with ancient relics. No chance of selling the property now. Ownership will most likely default to university. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't reward you for your work. Please, accept these glowstones I'm authorized to award good Samaritans like yourself. And I believe my work here is just about done. So, you actually weren't the detective after all. I just had to see if there was anything in the ruins. All my life, I've believed there's nothing but spirits in there. I've started to see that no one else believes that. I can't afford for the land to go to science. Science doesn't pay! But my heart couldn't afford for the ruins to be opened as a tourist location. I just thought the translation book might hold some answers for me. Might help me solve this puzzle. Vardim made an offer on the land. He suggested running his own excavation for sacred objects, but really I knew he would do everything possible to destroy what he found. I took the book and planned to sneak inside the ruins. Just take a peek. I wouldn't have destroyed anything, and if I found something, I would have reported it to the university right away. Now, the ruins will be opened to the university. We'll just have to see what happens. Well, I thought Helena was acting strange. Guess you can always count on me, detective. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe they will find some cures in the ruins. That would really be something. Thanks for working on this case, detective. We were worried we'd be trapped here forever. I didn't expect things to happen so quickly. I guess the ruins aren't ours anymore. I'm glad the university will be studying them. I've always wondered about everything I saw in there. Poor Auntie H. I wish she could see inside. She must have been really desperate to end up taking that book. And I believe my work here is just about done. Oh well, I'm happy to hear there's something of interest in those ruins. Well, I guess Vadim won't want to buy my inn anymore. But maybe he'll get more interest now anyway. Who knows, I just might convert one of these rooms into a ruins museum. Finally! We can leave! Maybe we'll get to play in Narva after all. Can't say I can't say I'm pleased the case was cracked. I was quite enjoying the excitement. Ha <laughs> ha back to dreary days in bed, I suppose. It's too bad the ruins are going to be swept up by the university. Wasted opportunity. The entire island would have profited from the tourism. All in the name of science, I suppose. Well... After we recover the translation book from Helena, maybe I can get my position at the university back as well. The ruins have always been important to her. I only hope I can preserve them for future generations. And imagine what we can learn about the past. Eventually, I hope it will be better this way. If we uncover even one artifact, the ruins will be protected forever. 
No tourists, no names carved in the walls by hooligans, no trash tossed around. Just a bastion of history. On an unrelated note, I saw the, shall we call it the watercraft you arrived here in. I've drawn up some instructions for you on how to build a reed boat. They're commonly used around here. No need for whatever that thing is. You also find reed boats quite capable of coastal travel. I can't imagine your contraption there is. You'll need heavy reeds. They're wider and flatter than the usual sort. Best wishes, and, um, sorry for accusing you of taking my translation book. I'm sure you understand. It's too bad the ruins are going to be swept up by the university. Wasted opportunity. And I believe my work here is just about tourism, done. All in the name of science, I suppose. Best wishes, and, um, sorry for accusing you of taking my translation book. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> <laughs> 